In order to measure the mass of the earth, you need an obvious object, a weighing scale. I suggest you to buy the best weighing scale because we want to determine the mass of a massive body like the earth. Now that you have a weighing machine, it is time to put it into use. Climb to the last floor of a minimum 10-story building. Know that beforehand, you need to measure the distance to the ground from this floor. It will be useful later. Once you reach the top floor, fling the weighing machine out of the window. We will be using the falling weighing machine to determine the time taken for it to reach the ground. Although the costly weighing machine is now completely trash, you have two crucial info for determining the mass of the earth. The distance of the top floor to the ground, D1, and the time it took for it to smash, T. With the help of these two measurements, we can determine its acceleration towards the earth. Using Newton's equation of motion of a particle in a uniform acceleration, we determine this acceleration to be equal to 9.8 meter per second square. The acceleration due to gravity on any planet is given by this equation, where small g is the acceleration due to gravity, capital G is universal gravitational constant, capital M is the mass of the planet, and capital R is the distance of the object to the center of the planet. In our case, we need to determine the mass of the Earth, so the equation becomes this. Substituting these values, we get mass of the Earth as 5.972 into 10 raised to 24 kg.